Hello and welcome to today's video. I'll teach you the basics on how to apply a material, any kind of material, on your 3D element in CAPTCHA and some basic measurements, the size, the area and the mass. What commands you will use, let's get right into it. So apply material, this is the command catalog. You can find it here if you right click here or here or down here. And you can find it at apply material. You can press Y on your keyboard if you don't want to search for it. So see if I press my press Y and it's gone. If I go right click and Y again, it's gonna show up somewhere on the screen. The same thing for measure, you can find it over here. So that's the basics. Now to apply material, we need to select an object to apply the material in. So we got this, but we can't apply it because we don't have any 3D elements. So let me draw one real quick. It's gonna be a basic little circle. So we want to have a circle, its diameter is 10. Let me hide you to check that. And we need to have a half circle to make it into a 3D element. So we want to just make a 3D ball. Use shaft, select this and this. And we got it. So I got my 3D element. This is the whole thing. I just want this to be turned into a different material. Let's say gold. So we've selected it. And now we can select apply material. And we have a whole bunch of stuff we can add. Constructions, fabrics, metal, other, paintings, shape review, stone, wood. So let's select gold for each basic. All you have to do is click it once. Don't click it multiple times. It'll open the options for that specific thing that you've clicked. So one click and apply material. And that's it. Once it's grayed out, that means you've done it. We can say OK. As you can see here at our little tree, we have the gold. So it's connected basically with this the material. So why is this ball not golden? Well, you need to sh change the view you have with it. You can do that in this command catalog view all the way here, the third last command, shading with edges. We can select the catalog and we have a whole bunch of other ways we can view this. The one we want is this one, third last again, shading with materials. Once you select it, it's all shiny or golden now. It looks awesome. That's the basics of how to apply material. Now you can select it again and select this command, measure item. It's gonna show you the basic things like the radius and the surface. That's all you really need to know about this. No need for anything else. And if you wanna see the mass and the area, you can select this. So basic mass, the mass in general, and the area. So that's the basics of it. Now, would you like to have a custom material that gives you all of these nice things? Let's just delete this. We don't need it. Okay. And delete the gold. Okay. So you say you want a custom texture. You can go in start, infrastructure, and material right library. And we're in this window. So we can make a new material, double click on this, and you can change the rendering. How the light bounces off, the transparency and everything. We can even change the color. Let's say we want it to be pink or something. It can be a pink ball. So I've already made one. This is the mo most important thing. And also creature properties is where you can change the name and also the composition in which you can change the how expensive it is and the weight per surface unit so one millimeter so i already undone this once you make your special material let's just make a random material let's call it bag apply and okay and we have to save it so if we go here and select to save this existing document we can save it anywhere we want. As you can see, I've already saved a random one here. It's called clown nose. So let's see what a clown nose is. So we don't want to save this. Let's check the clown nose. So let's select this and select apply material. And let's select this. Open a material library. And now if you can select the one that you downloaded or made yourself here and just double click it. Clown nose, apply material, and we got our clown nose. 
and we can select this and see its mass. The area is big, the surf surface of mass is 10 kilograms per meter squared. So it's not that much because it's a small ball, but that's it. You've learned how to apply your material, how to cust have your import your custom material, how to make one, and how to measure the basic things of how expensive it is, its center of gravity, everything really you can have here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching till the end. Have a nice day, evening, or night. Bye bye.